And more than a thousand pieces of contraband seized after a series of unannounced shakedowns at Georgia prisons, including two here in central Georgia. The contraband sweeps at Central State Prison in Macon and Dooley State Prison in Unadilla were among five prisons targeted by the state. The correction officers seized alcohol, tobacco, meth, over three pounds of marijuana, hundreds of cell phones, and nearly 650 weapons. This as Georgia prisons are under investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice. Ashlyn Webb joins us in studio with more. Ashlyn. Yes, Lori, the Justice Department is investigating the violence, including the several murders inside Georgia's prison system. Today's announcement by the Department of Corrections on the sheer number of weapons seized highlighted concerns of violence and unsafe conditions inside the prisons. The department says in the latest shakedown in five prisons, they confiscated nearly 650 weapons. If they only got 650 out of five prisons, they didn't get nothing. Timothy Cole was just released from Johnson State Prison last month. Cole served 10 months of his sentence in the Wrightsville facility for aggravated assault with the intent to rape. It's a day-to-day, minute-to-minute, life-or-death battle. You never know what's going to happen around you. Cole says he would see many prisoners carrying weapons, oftentimes made of materials found in the facility. It's taking metal off the walls, taking little pieces off the fence sharpening with the, the floors or the concrete walls. He says every once in a while, the tactical squad would confiscate the weapons, but... They'd take them away and then they'd put them in roll buggies and leave them right out there on the dock where everybody can go get them out and take them back. He says every day, you would see contraband in the hands of prisoners and violence breaking out. I mean, I'd be sitting on the phone talking to a family member on the phone and stuff would just break out right there immediately right around me. And... You know, you'd be trying to sleep and two bunks over, these guys decide they want to fight or whatnot. Why do you think that the conditions are like that in the prisons? The biggest thing is the lack of staff. And just speaking about Johnson State, you had sometimes three or four people only running the whole camp. Now, these images of violence and understaffed prisons were echoed in a recent lawsuit filed last week. It alleges Macon State prisoner Bobby Edward Lee Jr. was strangled to death by an inmate because of gang violence, inhumane conditions, and understaffing in the prison. The suit goes on to describe conditions at Macon State Prison in the first half of 2020, like, quote, nearly weekly inmate on inmate stabbings and assaults. Many inmates openly carried handmade shanks or shivs. Cell doors didn't lock. Meanwhile, the suit says Macon State was grossly understaffed with an officer vacancy rate of 47 percent. The suit says Lee was one of six prisoners murdered in the span of six months in Macon State Prison. Lori, back to you. Thank you, Ashlyn. The Georgia Department of Corrections says they plan to do more full facility sweeps throughout Georgia prisons.